it's crazy, but it's also exciting. I mean, there's no better place to live than Iowa, or maybe New Hampshire if you study politics. So it's just a real world laboratory to see political campaigns unfold. This is like Disneyland. <laughs> you know, having um, all the um, top dogs uh, in either or both political parties at one time and having all sorts of media attention is something you could kill for and still not get it. In the 40 years that I've been at Iowa State has been just terrific because it is the center of attention. We see all the most interesting things happen here early on when interesting things happen. Then later it becomes too huge and it becomes a media driven campaign. Whereas in the early parts of the selection process for both parties, Iowa is the place where people uh, make mistakes and learn stuff and the candidates are basically still testing out um, their message. You know, luckily for me, it really also coincides with um, the emergence of women on the national st stage, first with Elizabeth Dole. So again, I did a study about her campaign. I studied Hillary Clinton's campaign, and I'm getting ready to do a study on Michelle Bachman's campaign. So you know, it just gives me those um, kind of real world experiences to put along with my academic research. You actually can see the winnowing process begin to happen. Uh, if it doesn't happen in Iowa, it it's not going to happen downstream either. Uh, the red of the White House starts here and in a sense it stops here as well because Iowa in the end is a swing state. It's very purple. Well, the caucuses started off um, as a fairly modest event that, that um, wasn't any national news even and then it became national news and then it became international news and, and now it is as big as it's ever been uh, in this year, in, in 2011 and 2012, um, there are more international media than I've ever seen. Particularly from my research, one of the things I really enjoy doing is seeing the candidates speak in person. You know, so many of us, you know, have to, you know, see them on television or read about them in the newspaper, and that's, and we get to see them unfiltered. And so not only do we hear them speak, uh, we also get to see how their campaigns use strategy definitely adds to the ability to put like first-hand information about candidates and election process and such into the heads of students. It's a good way to get their attention. Uh, otherwise things are abstract, but Iowa being a retail politics state, um, anybody can play the game and a lot of them do. I remember really vividly Jesse Jackson dressed in a three or maybe four-piece suit. I mean very well dressed um, being handed a tiny little pink piglet and he sort of leaned over and had to kiss it. Um, I mean, you know, that's really sticking it to a politician and it's incredible what politicians will put up with. You have to shake every hand and kiss every little piglet because that's what's expected of people. And the candidates that are good at doing that, they win the Iowa caucuses.